On June 7th, 1998, James Byrd Jr. accepted a ride from Sean Barry, Lawrence Brewer, and John King. Barry, who was driving, was acquainted with Byrd from around town. Instead of taking Bird home, the three men took Bird to a remote county road out of town, beat him severely, spray painted his face, urinated and defecated on him, and chained him by his ankles to their pickup truck before dragging him for about three miles on Huff Creek Road. Brewer later claimed that Bird's throat had been slashed by Bear before he was dragged. However, forensic evidence suggests that Bird had been attempting to keep his head up while being dragged, and an autopsy suggested that Bird was alive during much of the dragging. Bird died about halfway along the road of his dragging when his right arm and head were severed as his body hit a culvert. While almost all of Bird's ribs were fractured, his brain and skull were found intact, further suggesting that he maintained consciousness while he was being dragged. Barry, Brewer, and King dumped the mutilated remains of Bird's body in front of an African American church on Huff Creek Road, then drove off to a barbecue. A motorist found Bird's decapitated remains the following morning. Along the area where Bird was dragged, police found a wrench with Barry written on it. They also found a lighter that was described with Possum, which was King's prison nickname. The police found 81 places that included portions of Bird's remains. Since Brewer and King were well-known white supremacists, it was determined by state law enforcement officials that the murder was a hate crime. They called upon the FBI less than 24 hours after the discovery of Bird's remains. Brewer and King were eventually convicted and executed by lethal injection, while Barry was sentenced to life imprisonment and would be eligible for a parole in 2038.